In the previous video, we talked about binomial trees, and in this video, we are going to be talking about binomial heaps. Okay. So, what is a binomial heap? A binomial heap is a collection of binomial trees. Okay. Or a set of binomial trees that satisfy certain properties. Right. So, a binomial heap is a set of binomial trees that satisfy the following binomial heap properties. Which are the properties? These two properties, a binomial, uh, a set of binomial trees need to satisfy in order to be called a binomial heap, right? Now let us see what are the properties. Each binomial tree in H obeys the min heap property. That is the a binomial tree, every binomial tree in the set of binomial trees have to follow, uh, or sorry, has to follow uh, min heap property, right? What is the min heap property? The key of a node has to be greater than or equal to the key of its parent, right? We have already studied what are min heaps, right? In case of binary heaps, but in uh, we are now studying about binomial heaps, but the min heap property remains the same, okay? The key of a node has to be greater than the key of its parent in order to, in order for the min heap property to be satisfied, right? So the first property says that every binomial tree in the a set of binomial trees or every bi bi binomial tree in H has to obey the min heap property. That is, the key of a node has to be greater than the key of its parent, greater than or equal to the key of its parent. And each such tree is called as min heap order tree. Right? Uh, so, let us now talk, see, let us now just talk about this particular tree. Okay? So, this is a binomial tree. So, this is min, uh, min heap ordered tree. Why? Because for every node, the key of a node is greater than or equal to key of its parent. Therefore, let us check for this node. The key of this node is greater than or equal to the key of its parent. The key of this node is greater than or equal to the key of its parent. Same for this, same for this, 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 this. So, it follows the min heap property, right? The entire binomial tree follows the min heap property, right? So, we call such tree as min heap ordered Tree, right so that is the first property so every such binom every binomial tree in the set of binomial trees have to follow this property so this uh, tree follows this property min heap property also this tree follows the property the key of a node has to be greater than the key of its parent key of a node has to be greater than and key of a node has to be greater than or equal to its parent same with this why because it is just a uh, single node binomial tree right or b naught so there is no checking we cannot do any checking, right? So, by default, it is a min heap order tree, right? Because it is not violating the property of a min heap. So, all these trees uh, satisfy or the collection of trees or the set of these trees satisfy the min heap property and all these trees are min heap ordered trees, right? Now, the second property says that for any non-negative integer k, there is at most one binomial tree in H whose root has degree k. That is, if I say any uh, integer k, let us say 3, then there can be either 0 binomial tree in this collection who, uh, whose root has degree 3 or at most 1 binomial tree in this collection whose root has degree 3. Right? So, do we have any, uh, let us say for k is equal to 3, how many binomial trees are there in the collection whose root has degree 3? Only one. So, there can be at most one, right? So, what is this property? We, we are just looking at it at, uh, in just a moment, okay? So, the first property, what it implies is, what the first property implies, that the key uh, or the root of the binomial tree contains the smallest key in the tree, right? The root of every min heap ordered tree contains the smallest key in the tree. See, this uh, uh, root contains the smallest key in the tree. So, 6 is the smallest key in the entire tree. Why? Because the min heap property is followed. Same in this case, what is the minimum of all these? 1, 12, 25, 18, 1. So, the root contains the smallest key in the tree. Here also root contains the smallest key. Okay, so there is nothing uh, that is to be violated, right? So, it is by default uh, containing the smallest key. So, root is containing the smallest key in the tree. So, what uh, what is the what does the first property imply? That in um, in a set of binomial trees that have to qualify to, be, to become a binomial heap, the root has to contain the smallest key. The roots of all the trees in the collection will have the smallest key in the tree, right? That is what the first property implies. The second property implies that uh, it is, implies that an n node binomial heap can contain at most log n plus 1 binomial trees. You want me to repeat it? 
an n node binomial heap contains at most log n plus 1 binomial trees. Log n plus 1 binomial trees. Okay. So, why is it possible? Why is it so? Okay. So, now let us say I want a 10 node binomial tree. Uh, sorry, a 10 node binomial heap. Then how do we represent 10 in binary? 10 in binary is represented by 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so what is the, uh, how do we write it? 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. Right? So it is 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0. Right? That is how 10 is represented. Right? So this is the expansion of 10. This is how we convert this number into uh, decimal number right so this is the expansion of 10 so what is this 2 power 3 2 power 3 is b3 we already discussed in the previous video right a binomial uh, tree bk consists of 2 power k nodes right so what is this b3 this is b2 this is b1 this is b0 so, the binomial tree B3 will be present in the binomial heap only if the corresponding bit is 1. Okay. So, this tree binomial tree B3 will be present in the binomial heap only if the corresponding bit BI is 1. So, here it is 1. So, B3 is present in this uh, heap which contains 10 node. Now, B2 is not present because the corresponding bit is 0. Right. So, it is not present in the binomial heap containing 10 nodes. This is present. Why? Because the corresponding bit is 1. So, B1 is present in the binomial heap and B0 is not present. Okay. So, in order to represent a tree, uh, sorry, a heap having 10 nodes, we have to represent it using, we have, it will contain two binomial trees, B3 and B1. Right. How do we, how did we get this? Using this expansion. Right. So, either a tree can be present, binomial tree can be present or it can be absent, right? B3 can either be present or not present. There cannot be two B3s, right? So, that is how this property does not violate, okay? B3 can either be present or it cannot be present, okay? If we had to include two B3, we will not include B3, right? B3, how many nodes it includes? Uh, so, how many nodes are present in B3? 2 power 3, 8. So, in case we have to include 2B3, then uh, 8 plus 8, 16 nodes, then we will include B4, right or not? In case we had to include 2B3s, what will be the resultant uh, tree or what will be the resultant number of nodes? 2 power 3 plus 2 power 3 is equal to 2 power 4. Right. So, we will represent it using just one B4. Right. So, what I am trying to say is either a binomial tree can be present or a binomial tree cannot be present. Either BK will be present or BK will not be present. There cannot be two BK instances in a binomial heap. Right. There can be at most one BK. Right. So, for any non-negative integer K, there is at most one binomial tree whose root has degree K. So, if uh, a binomial tree's root has degree K, it means that it is BK. Right. That is what we discussed in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it and then come to this. Okay. So, uh, in case, now let us talk about, let, let us say another example. Let us see another example. Okay. The same example that we have represented. Okay. So, this is, how many nodes are there in this? Okay. So, this is what? This is B3. Isn't it? And this is B2 and this is B0. So, how many nodes are there? 2 power 0, 1, 2 power 2, 4, 2 power 3, 8. So, 8 and 4, 12 plus 1, 13. So, this is a binomial tree. Uh, sorry, this is a binomial heap that needs to contain 13 nodes, right? So, how do we represent a binomial? Let us say I have given you a question that we need a binomial heap whose... Um, in, a, in which there has to be at least 13 keys or 13 nodes, right? So, how do we, how you create a tree uh, or a set of trees out of it, a set of binomial trees that represent that particular heap? We write the binomial expansion of 13. So, how, how is 13 written? It is 1, 1, 0, 1, right? So, it is 2 power 3 into 1 plus 2 power 2 into 1 plus 2 power 1 into 0 plus 2 power 0 into Right. So 
B3 is present, B2 is present and B0 is present. B3, B2 and B0. And B1 is not present because the corresponding bit is 0. So this is what we have all represented here. B3, B2 and B0. B3, B2 and B0. Right. So this is how we represent a binomial heap with n nodes. Right. And how did we derive this number? Any number n. Right. How is it represented in binary using log n plus 1 bits? Right. Let us say 13. So 13 is represented using how many bits? Log 13. What is log 13? 3 point something. Right. 3 uh, float of 3 point something. 3 plus 1, 4. So at max 4 bits are required to represent 13. So for, for representing any number n, these many trees are, uh, sorry, these many uh, bits are required. So, in order to represent an n node binomial heap, log n plus 1 trees are required. So, however many number of bits are required in order to represent a number n, the same number of uh, trees are required in order to represent a binomial heap uh, with n nodes. Right, so I hope you got all this. Right, so these bits and all this stuff, right. So here we have 13. So 13, um, if we put 13 in the place of n, what we get? 4, right? So it can have at most 4 uh, binomial trees, right? So how many trees it has? 3 trees, right? So at max, it can have log n plus 1 binomial trees. That is an n node binomial heap can have at most log n plus 1 binomial trees. That is what it is implies right that is what the second property implies the first property is that every um, binomial tree needs to be min heap ordered that is it needs to follow the min heap property and the second property says that any n node binomial heap will contain at most log n plus one binomial trees right and for any non-negative integer k uh, there's at most one binomial tree whose root has degree Okay, right? So that is what the properties of binomial heap is. And this is an example of binomial heap, right? Now let us see how we represent binomial heap actually. Like this is how we represent it. Uh, I mean to say how is it implemented, right? This is the representation that is fine. But how is it actually rep uh, represented? Or how it is actually implemented, right? So... How are binary uh, trees represented? Binary trees are represented in the form of um, a structure. Structure node that has a pointer that points to left child, right child and then the data. Right? But uh, with this uh, kind of, this binomial heap is represented using a left child, right, si uh, right sibling representation. Or I should say each binomial tree within a binomial heap is represented using left child, right sibling representation. Right? If you don't know about it, and I, I am just telling you, okay. So, what is left child right, uh, right sibling representation, or why do we even need it, right? Let us say, um, in case of binary tree, there are just two children. Maximum, a node can have two children, right? But in case, let us say, it is not restricted, or, or there is no restriction on the amount of children a node can have, right? So, we do not know how many space to allocate, or how much space to allocate, or how many pointers we need to store each child, right? How, we do not know how many children a node can have. So, we do not know how many pointers to allocate or how many space we need to allocate for each node, right? So, the concept or the strategy that we, we were using in order to represent binary heaps fail here, right? It fails here. So, or even let us say if we say or if we have that a node can have a maximum 10 children, right? Every node, uh, this is a 10 area tree. Right, or let us say this is 20 ADT. tree. That is a node can have at max 20 children. Right, but what is actually happening at practice is a node, even though it is a 20 ADT tree or 10 ADT tree, every uh, node has at max or on an average 2 3 children. Right, so allocating these many pointers 20 pointers or 10 pointers doesn't make sense. It is a wastage, it is just wasting a lot of space and space is a very important resource for us, right? So we do not, we cannot afford to waste space, right? So we come up with a better representation. What is the representation? Left child, right sibling representation. In this representation, what happens is for every node, we store the left child, a pointer to the left child and right sibling, right? Let us see how this tree, let us talk about just one tree, how this tree is represented using left child, right sibling representation, right? So... We are talking about this tree. Okay. So, for every node, we have to store the left child and right sibling, right? 
So this will store the pointer to the leftmost child, which is the leftmost child 8. Now 8 will store the pointer to the left child and right sibling. Okay, so this does not have a right sibling because it, it, is, it is the root node. So right sibling is null, right? So now this is storing just the pointer to the first child and not to all the children, right? Just to the first child or the leftmost child, okay? This will store pointer to its first child that is 11 and right sibling, which is 14. Right. So 14 will now, let us now talk about 14. 14 will store pointer to its left child and right sibling. So it has just one child that is 38 and right sibling. Which is the right sibling of it? 29. Sibling you know, right? Uh, nodes that have the same parent, right? So it will store the right sibling and pointer to the uh, leftmost child and right sibling. So since it has first child, it stores pointer to the first child, right? Now, let us talk about 11. 11 will talk, uh, store pointer to its left child and right sibling, right? So we are able to represent the entire tree using this. Now, 29 does not have any child and it is the rightmost sibling or I should say the last sibling. So both the pointers are null. 38 also does not have a child because it is a leaf node. It does not also have a right sibling. Same with the case of 17. It does not have a child and it does not have a sibling. Same with the, same the case with 27, right? So this is the way how we represented it, this tree using left child, right sibling representation. And it, it, it has uh, uh, saved a lot of space, okay? Because for every node, we are just storing two pointers, one to the leftmost child and the right uh, sibling, right? So it, uh, it saves a lot of space, okay? So this is a very popular representation that we use to store KAE trees and the same representation we are using to store the, uh, these trees, okay? Binomial trees, like every binomial tree within a binomial heap is represented using this representation, okay? So apart from this left child and right sibling, we are storing some more uh, some more things okay so we can store many things right in a particular node for a particular node typically what we store we store a key and a left child and the right sibling in this particular representation but let us say that we are using we are storing more information so let us say that we are storing we are also storing the parent of a particular node right for example this is the node then we are also storing its parent its parent pointer to its parent Pointer to its parent, parent, pointer to its parent, right, we are also storing pointer to, so what are the things that we are storing for a particular node in this particular representation, firstly we are, so I told you initially the basic representation or the basic things that we store in a left child right sibling representation, but we are talking about how we are implementing this, it is just us, just us, diversion from the actual okay so we are here we are also storing the parent of a particular node p of x right we are storing the key okay degree of x what is degree of x number of children it can have what will what will be the degree of this node three because it has three children degree of this two because it has two children we are also storing degree of x okay key degree of x p of x and left child and right sibling right simple left child right sibling we were already storing we have also added p of x and 